Hey Shook, welcome back to the Healing Circle. So we're here to do the Daily Collective for Monday, February 5th, okay? If the reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it, all right? I'm using the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, all right? It's one of my faves, okay? All right, let's see what do we have for the Collective for Monday, February 5th, okay? Um, I don't know if I said it, but if the reading does not resonate, do not try to make it, all right? Okay, so the message is partnerships and alliances with heart chakra on the bottom. Okay, so this is the number three, partnerships and alliances with heart chakra, number four, All right? Let's read the message, All right? Okay. Okay, so it says this. The meaning of this card denotes that you're now starting to see the fruits of your labor take seed and blossom. There may still be a lot to do, but watch out for synchronicities, which could bring opportunities to form connections or unexpected alliances that may create something new. These could assist you in gathering resources for future projects. With all partnerships, always remember that there has to be an even exchange of energy. If you give too much, whereas your partner gives too little, it will leave you feeling energetically drained and cause potential disharmony in the union. There must be overall balance within the alliance in order for it to work and blend together for optimum results. This card reminds you that success comes in many forms, even from the most unlikely sources. Have an open mind when listening to others, okay? So, let's see what this could be about. Of course, it's a collective reading, so it can apply in various ways, okay? A lot of different ways, all right? So, let's see. Why is this message here for the collective with partnerships and alliances? Partnerships and alliances. Okay. This is the Twin Flame deck, all right? Okay, that's a lot. Why is partnerships and alliances here for the collective? Okay, release, all right? Loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt. Okay. With crossroads, divergent paths, choices, confusion. Follow your intuition, okay? Release confusion, anxiety, and doubt, and follow your intuition, all right? Bottom of the deck says self-worth, values, self-esteem, confidence. Be empowered by valuing, valuing yourself, okay? All right. Let's get some more messages on that, okay? Using the... Um, Untold truths of the heart. Okay, why not? Since we have the heart chakra here. Let's see, what are you doing? All right, for the collective. Partnerships and alliances. So release anxiety and doubt, okay? Um, follow your intuition when it comes to maybe a partnership or an alliance or a group that you may be joining or even forming, okay? Why is partnerships and alliances here for the collective? Only you and euphoria, okay? With only you here, it says fixated, attached, hypnotized. Euphoria says chasing thrills, joy, laughter with confession. So someone can, could confess something to you, okay? Um, maybe confess that they have or they are fixated on you or maybe they see only you as the, um, you know, option or appropriate candidate for something or, um, yeah, that only you bring them joy or let's see why is partnerships and alliances here nourish and shattered oh i'm sorry hope and shattered and hope okay masculine energy on the bottom so nourish self-harmony soul growth comfort right um shattered damaged broken hearted destroyed 
and hoping, waiting, expecting, manifesting. Okay. All right. So someone may be seeking comfort from you. Okay. Maybe they're kind of kind of fixated on only you. Maybe you are the person that brings them joy. Um, and they're kind of, you know, seeking comfort from you. Maybe they have gone through something that has left them shattered. Um, and they're maybe manifesting or expecting you to return. This is a masculine energy that you might have drifted apart from, okay? All right, so let's get more messages on that. Why is partnerships and alliances here? So someone may come towards you expressing, because we saw the confession card, expressing themselves, expressing how, um, you know, you bring them joy, only you bring them joy, or you make them happy, or you know, bring them out of a funk. Why is partnerships and alliances here? Um, and spirit might be directing you to release fear and, and anxiety and doubt when it comes to this choice, right? And follow your intuition, right? With the death card here and the ace of cups, if something is ending, okay, it is so that something new can begin with the ace of cups. Um, temperance and the uh, empress energy is like... Um, like balance, harmony, growth, and expansion with the Empress energy. Um, three of Swords, okay? So this is the end of heartbreak and disappointment with the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Wands. The communication that's coming in is going to be a wish fulfillment. It's going to be something that you desire, wanted, okay? Um, so this is the end of disappointment, the end of heartbreak, the end of um, not being emotionally satisfied or the end of, yeah, that okay with the king of cups energy and the king of wands on the bottom yeah okay the king of cups energy is a energy of remember we can all possess both feminine and masculine energy but also um one person can possess multiple energies all right so this king of cups energy can and this king of wands energy can be the energy of one person all right i feel like with the king of cups energy this is someone that is expressing themselves because they want to end um, the energy of like heartbreak and disappointment or um, if you're drifting apart from them, okay? Um, with the King of Wands and the Ten of Cups Emperor, yeah, Justice, this is someone that is stepping up to do things right, okay? Stepping up to make things right, okay? With the King of Wands and the um, Ten of Cups is like taking action towards what it is that emotionally fulfills me, right? So this could be someone that's expressing themselves, expressing how they've been heartbroken or disappointed um, and wanting to mend things, okay? Or wanting to put an end to that, all right? With the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands, okay? If there's been like, you know, harsh words said to, you know, one another or conflict or drama, um, Someone could even express how this might have, like, you know, like, shattered them. Because it's laying right over top of the shattered card, you know? Like, um, yeah. And with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, is someone is coming forward, expressing themselves emotionally, um, and wanting to give equally, okay? This is, like, fairness, okay? So this is the end of heartbreak or disappointment, right? With only you, nourish, shattered, and hoping, this is like someone seeking comfort from only you to repair or overcome some type of heartbreak or disappointment. Yeah, that, and someone's hoping for that to come through. All right? So with the heart chakra card here, <laughs> let's see what that is. So the, the heart chakra is about I love, and the message says, parallel to the heart, this chakra represents unconditional love, compassion, harmony, relationships, and healing. It's believed to be the link between your mind, body, and soul. Balance in this area may take a while, but you should allow all the time that is needed to heal. Oh, so the healing energy can get through and flow freely. By loving yourself and others, as well as learning forgiveness, you'll become more attuned with spirit. Okay, so this kind of feels like maybe um, healing that is repairing in a situation. 
um, that is occurring or preparing. What did I say? Healing that is occurring. Yeah, this it feels like healing that is occurring in a situation. Um, and spirit is kind of guiding you to open your heart to release fear, anxiety, and doubt when it comes to um, a choice, okay, or a direction. Follow your intuition. All right. Why is heart chakra here? Open your heart. Okay. If someone is expressing themselves, maybe it is to um, initiate forgiveness. Okay. With the un unawakened card here, it says unaware, 3D, ego, darkness. Your twin is not ready yet. Okay. So whoever is, this is about whoever you've been interacting with, whoever's coming forward. Let me say that. Okay. With some on the bottom. It's time to see the sunny side. Your answers arrive in summer with free will. Okay, so with unawakened in summer, it's like someone is unawakened or maybe was, okay? So it's kind of time to see the sunny side as to like why things happen a certain way, okay? Maybe someone just wasn't prepared or in their best state at that time, okay? With memories, nostalgia, repetition, attachment, reliving the past, let it go, okay? Okay, so maybe someone wasn't awakened and you're kind of like, um, thinking back on the movements or um, the actions or, you know, the words that this person might have said during that time frame with surrender, detach, trust, free fall, have faith that all is well. Okay. Yeah. Release those memories, release that fear, anxiety, and doubt. Okay. Follow your intuition with alone on the bottom, abandon, lonely, lost. The divine is with you forgive right behind that okay so someone may be feeling very alone feeling very lost let's see why is heart shock right here heart chakra for the collective the chase okay with avoiding so this could be someone that was avoiding you or decision or whatever at one point. But with the chase being here, it says preparation, relentless pursuit, victory. Okay. And on the bottom, it says avoiding, blocking, escaping, pushing away, confusion. Okay. So someone could have been blocking, pushing you away or whatever out of confusion. Right. But it seems like things are flipping now where there's a chase. Okay. Let's clarify message for the collective why is heart chakra here for the collective please make this clear heart chakra the knight of pinnacles okay the knight of pinnacles the queen of cups we have the king of cups here there's a pair the ace of pinnacles the Five of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Queen of Wands, Four Swords, Five of Cups. Okay. okay. So this is definitely an energy of... Um, procrastination with the knight of pentacles energy um towards i feel like towards you okay with the queen of cups being here and the king of cups it's like someone could have procrastinated um towards uh like maybe choosing a path making a decision because they were unawakened um but someone might be reflecting on the memories of things and surrendering okay uh with the ace of pentacles here and the five of wands there could have been some type of conflict with there being a new start or a solid new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, but with this Knight of Cups energy, someone could be coming to express that, to confess what it was or um, to tell you why everything, you know, transpired the, the way that they did. OK, with the Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords and the Five of Cups, it's almost like maybe someone else wanted to heal things. And that's something they regret, you know, like sabotaging with the nine of swords, or, you know, um, yeah. Let's clarify this five of wands energy and see what that could have been. Okay. For the collective spirit. Okay. 
Yeah. I feel like the Five of Wands, just for me, you know, cutting the deck is like more like a, the conflict was around like someone like closing out a cycle. Okay. The Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. So someone could have been in and out of a connection. Um, five of Wands for the collective. Um, three of Swords. And that caused some type of heartbreak or disappointment with the tower. Okay. Yeah. Any more for the five of wands? Yeah. Okay. The Emperor. The King of Cups. The Ace of Wands. And the Seven of Cups. Okay. So someone's taking ownership of the fact that they were in and out of a connection. Um, very inconsistent. Caused heartbreak. Okay. They're taking ownership of that. With the King of Cups energy and the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Cups, someone have just allowed their um, someone could have just like allowed their passion, man parts, whatever you want to call it, okay, to you know create confusion for them to you know maybe have them like explore their options, okay. And with this Devil energy, King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands, okay, it's just like someone is like, I don't want to be like that anymore. Okay, they, that was the problem. That was the conflict with the new beginning happening. So, Spirit might be guiding you to forgive um, because there is a chase. Pursuit. So that's what I have for you, Shade. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like. Hit the like button. Down there, I think, right there. Comment. Leave me a comment. Let me know if this resonates. Share. Send it to your friends and post it to social media. And subscribe so that you know when I post. Miss you guys already. Bye.